Cam, Alabama, a fight is breaking out in a feature match here before the introductions could be made. Dennis Hall going up against Bobby Maine. Bobby Maine has his manager, Sir Clements, in there. George Goulas has gone to the ring to be second for Dennis Hall. The announcer was in the ring, but the fight broke out before he could make the introductions. This has been booked as a one-fall, 15-minute time limit match. But I don't know what we'll have going here because we had a scuffle breaking up before the introductions were made, before the bell sounded. Dennis Hall on the floor right now with Bobby Maine slamming his head into the press table at ringside. George Goulas keeping Sir Clements at bay, trying to keep him out of the action. The referee trying to get the wrestlers in the ring to get the match properly, properly started. But the fans are on their feet. They're enjoying this activity, and it seems that Dennis Hall is also. Dennis Hall has been hot at Bobby Maine because of an injury he suffered after a match. He was thrown out on the concrete floor. Uh, this took place two months ago or more now. Was uh, He uh, received a pile driver on the concrete floor and was out of commission for quite a while. I was talking with him on the phone just recently. He said he was in good shape. He was ready for Bobby Maine, and he's here to prove it to this jam-packed crowd here in Birmingham, Alabama this evening. Bobby Maine, groggy as Dennis Hall hauls him to the corner, slams his head into the turnbuckles. Hall moving in on the midsection and then a right right on the button that dropped Bobby Maine. Sir Clements keeping his distance because George Goulas is sitting across the ring watching. Dennis Hall has got the, the abdominal stretch. Sir Clements comes in to break it up. The referee sounds a bell. He disqualifies Bobby Maine for outside interference and is giving the match to Dennis Hall. Dennis Hall had him securely caught in that abdominal stretch and would have forced a submission from him. It was evident to everybody, even to Sir Clement. Sir Clement came to the ring to break it up. But right now, George Gould is going after Sir Clement. Dennis Hall gets his hand lifted in victory. He has gotten some sweet revenge here this evening. What a match we've seen and more action to follow. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Sterling Brewer reporting from ringside in Birmingham, Alabama, watching a Southeastern Tag Championship match that has Rufus R. Jones and George Nick Goulas putting their titles on the line against challengers Don Kent and Chris Gallagher. Kent and Gallagher have as their manager, Jim Kent. Right now, Rufus R. Jones in the ring with Don Kent, who rebounds from the ropes, brings a boot up into the chest, and puts a big Rufus R. Jones down. Chris Gallagher gets a boot up in the, the corner of the ring as Rufus R. Jones is hurled into the uplifted boot. This match has been going on for a, about four or five minutes. It's been a hard-fought contest. There's been a se uh, several changes of uh, places. Uh, men have been in and out of the ring illegally. Right now you see Gallagher coming in. There was not a tag. The referee is not allowing him to stay in. Orders him out. Don Kent comes in kicking at Rufus R. Jones. Jones and, G and Goulas have maintained this title for some time. They've defended it now successfully against several challengers. But this one is going to be a hard test for them, especially with Jimmy Kent in the corner with Kent and Gallagher because invariably he gets involved in a match. He is always interfering, always distracting the referee, doing whatever he can to give his team the edge. George Goulas tags in, goes after Gallagher, drives him in the corner, turns his attention to Kent, puts him against the ropes. But look out, Don Kent on the apron, or rather Jim Kent on the apron, and now he goes down as George Goulas focuses on him. Chris Gallagher legally in the ring. Referee Bob Holland saying, keep the fist open. Let's have a clean wrestling match. Let's don't have a disqualification on this. The title is at stake. Goulas and Jones, the holders of the Southeastern Tag Team Championship with their title on the line against a couple of tough competitors, tough challengers, Don Kent and Chris Gallagher. Gallagher rebounding, puts a shoulder block to George Goulas. Goulas goes down. Gallagher on him immediately, comes up with a headlock. Onto the ropes he goes. Goulas ready for him, catches him, gives him the hip clip and puts him down as he rebounds from the rope. Chris Gallagher moving back to make the tag. Don Kent tags, but he doesn't seem to be really anxious to get into that ring at the moment. He wants to slow things down. 
Now he comes in at the referee's insistence after the tag had been made. That's been going on for something over five minutes now. Goulas takes a headlock on Don Kent. Kent lifts him high, drops him, but Goulas holds on. Rolls Kent to the mat. Rufus R. Jones watching as Chris Gallagher starts to climb the ropes. Jones coming into the ring to forestall a, a sneak attack from Gallagher. Jim Kent, the manager, continually pacing up and down at ringside, looking for an opportunity to get into that ring to do some damage to the opponents of his team. Gulas using the shoulder block, puts Kent down, comes up with a headlock on Don Kent. Gulas and Jones defending their title Southeastern Tag Team Champions. I don't know whether we have film enough to get the complete match or not. I hope that we do, but in case we do not, if you'll stay tuned, we'll give you a final update on it after the film is done on the TV show. But right now, we want to watch the action as big Rufus R. Jones moving into the ring as Jim Kent was coming onto the apron. Chris, G Chris Gallagher walking up and down the apron. Gulas holding on, rolls Kent to the mat. He's on top of him. Rufus R. Jones in the ring once again. Chris Gallagher leaving the ring, but Don Kent running around the ring, gets around behind the referee, ready to slip in if he gets the opportunity as George Gulas keeps the pressure on that step over to hold. Rufus R. Jones backing him up very decidedly, very definitely, and he's ready to come in at any, opportunity, at any time that he might be needed. Gulas keeping the pressure on. Don Kent warding up. Gulas trips up Kent again. Rufus R. Jones coming into the match. We regret the interruption. We had a slight difficulty on our camera, but we straightened out now. The battle is still going on. It's been going on for approximately 12 minutes now. Rufus Jones in the ring, pounding away at Don Kent. The advantage has changed hands repeatedly throughout this match. But I'll tell you what, all four men in there are eager to hold on to the title. They'd love to have the belt. Rufus R. Jones has Don Kent down. Chris Gallagher coming in to break it up. Jimmy Kent on the apron. George Gulas, of course, coming in to keep Gallagher out. Big Rufus R. Jones hammering away at Don Kent. Hits him with a headbutt and drops him down. He's on top of him again. The referee moving around to start the count. Jimmy Kent into the ring, but Rufus R. Jones punches him down. Moving in on him with a big right, drives him into the corner. George Goulas has Chris Gallagher in the corner. Look out, Don Kent coming up behind Rufus R. Jones. He had some weapon. Don Kent hammered away at the back of the neck of Rufus R. Jones. He's down. Jimmy Kent has rolled from the ring. The referee turns around, sees Jones down. He starts to count. One, two, three is the count. The hand of Don Kent and Chris Gallagher lifted in victory as the NWA Southeastern Tag Team Champions. The belts are being handed into the ring right now. George Gould is complaining. Jimmy Kent ran into the ring illegally. Don Kent had some weapon and came up behind Rufus R. Jones, hitting him in the back of the neck to knock him down and out momentarily for long enough for Don Kent to pin him. The referee still has the belts in his hands. He's talking with Don Kent and Chris Gallagher. They're insisting on the belts. All he can do is hand them out. They now have them as the NWA Southeastern Tag Team Champions. We've seen the title change hands here this evening. Once again, we're back at this same match, and I'll tell you what, there's been hard feeling and a lot of argument going on in that ring. Right now, Rufus R. Jones hammering away at Jimmy Kent. It looks like his head is bleeding. He's received several headbutts there in the corner. Rufus R. Jones pounding away. They're upset about losing those titles. They lost them illegally. They want them back. They want satisfaction. And Rufus R. Jones is getting some right now from Jim Kent, the manager. His head is bleeding. George Goulas going after 
Chris Gallagher and Don Ted. Our time is running out on this film, but what an exciting match we've seen here this evening as once again Jimmy Kent takes a pounding from Big Rufus R. Jones. He leaves the ring, and I'm sure they'll head for the dressing room now. This is Sterling Brew at ringside, Birmingham, Alabama, where we've seen the Southeastern Tag Team titles change hands once again. Yeah.